In today's video, just like every week, we're going to go over NVC update, cases, document, and emails they are working on this week. And also, some of you guys on who lives here in the United States of America, what you guys need to do once your case is approved by USCIS, once your petition is approved by USCIS. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back. USA Mundo. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Mundo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome here. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also US citizens regarding their immigration questions. And then sometimes we talk about different topics. And also, I give advice to newcomers to the United States of America so they can stay out of trouble. But today's video, like I said in the introduction, is about NVC update. You know, I update you guys every week regarding cases, emails, and document NVC National Visa Center is working on. And today, I'm going to add um, the adjustment of status process for some of you guys on who already lives here in the United States of America, okay? So, if you are a petitioner or maybe you are a beneficiary, somebody petitioning for you and your case is approved by USCIS, there is two things that uh, that will happen. If you live overseas, it means that your case will go to NVC National Visa Center. If you already live here in the United States of America, your case is going to stay at USCS and then you're going to get a notification to adjust on your status. So let's talk about that first, okay? So to adjust your status, basically, what you're going to do is to go to USCS and then fill out the form on I-485 which is a green card application form, okay? Once you fill up the form, make sure you read the instruction so you know which document to add to the form, uh, which pay or uh, which on fee to pay, and all those stuff, okay? Once you send that, USCIS uh, will review everything, and then they will send you a notification for a biometric appointment. That's when you're gonna go for your fingerprint, you know, submit picture, and then sign some document, okay? And then after that, you will receive an uh, interview appointment letter. So not everybody will receive an interview appointment letter because if interview is needed, then you will receive one so you can go to the interview. After the interview, guess what? If there is an uh, additional document needed, uh, USCIS will let you know. You're gonna submit those uh, document and then they will make a decision. Once they made a decision, they will send you a notification first that, okay, yes, you got your green card or they deny your green card. So now let's talk about NVC side, okay? If your relative lives overseas, USCIS will send on uh, your case, your petition uh, information to NVC National Visa Center. And NVC is gonna key in all your petition information in their system before they contact you and send you your welcome letter and also instruction regarding uh, what you do next, okay? So sometimes uh, if you are immediate relative, it can take like 30 days or maybe sometimes less, like three weeks. Uh, in order for NVC to contact you, but if NVC doesn't contact you for like uh, two months, you need to call them, okay, to tell them, hey, my petition was approved, it's been two months, I didn't get uh, any welcome letter, then they will send you uh, your case number and invoice ID, which you're going to use to log into the system. So, yesterday, NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on uh, December 8th. So basically, they're working on cases they received from USCIS last week, which is a good thing because, um, you know, I remember a month ago, you know, it took them like a, a month before to move, to move up a little bit uh, or start working on cases they received from USCIS. But now I think it's going a little bit faster, so which is good, uh, good news, right? So once you log into the system, you're going to pay fees on some different documents. Those documents you submit on NVC will review them. And also, the payment, and they're going to make sure you uh, pay the right fees, okay? So once everything is fine, uh, they will review everything and let you know if you are document to qualify or not. So yesterday, also, NVC announced on the website that they are reviewing documents they received from you guys on September 13, okay? So hopefully, everything is going to be fine. You know, NVC is not gonna ask for additional document, and then uh, you're gonna be document to qualify. Meaning that you're just gonna wait until um, uh, NVC is able to is able to schedule interview appointment for you. 
So if you are not immediate relative, it can take a little bit longer. You have to wait until your priority date is current before MVC uh, can schedule any of your appointment for you based on the uh, visa appointment availability at the US uh, consulate, okay? And then the third update is regarding emails. And some of you guys uh, who send uh, uh, NVC different questions, you know, and they're doing their best uh, to reply to your questions. Uh, and then uh, this week, uh, they announced on the website that they are responding to emails they received from you guys on October 20th. And uh, they are not moving that fast, you know, because it's well, almost two months. So the emails they receive from you guys almost two months and they start um, responding to those emails now. So check your emails boss or your email boss and so you don't miss any email coming from uh, NVC National Visa Center. And also check your folder because sometimes the email can go to the folder. And the third thing you can do is to log into NVC system, Computer Electronic Application Center to see if uh, you receive any emails. If you receive email, you will see that red number, you know, right beside emails and you know, click on it to read down uh, the email. So guys, uh, basically that's what I have for you today. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do and you know somebody who might benefit from it, well, share the video with that person. If you like the video, click on the like button. If you want to see my face again in another video, click on the bell. That way, when I upload a video, you're going to be the first person to be notified. Well, I don't know if you're going to be the first or not. Because sometimes YouTube doesn't send notification to everybody. Um, if you want to support this channel, we have a USMO shop. The link is in the description below. Also, if you want to subscribe to this channel, well, you can now click on the subscribe button to be part of this USA Mondo family. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in another video. USA Mondo.